your certified most accurate forest zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. So it's so humid out this morning. Kind of makes you feel like uh, we're going to see some thunderstorms at any moment. <laughs> I, I said this earlier, ladies, do not uh, waste too much time doing your hair today because as oh. soon as you go outside, it's just going to mm. be a waste because Ball it's going to fall It's a poofy flat. hair day for sure. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that or just put the hair back. Um, here's what to expect. Uh, we have this uh, very soupy air mass. The air is super saturated. There's a lot of moisture in it. It's not going to take much to see a few raindrops on your morning drive. I do still have the chance for a few more showers, maybe even another thunderstorm or two today. Isolated strong to potentially severe thunderstorm. Very isolated. Uh, we're looking at an isolated storm chance for Friday into the weekend. Coverage will be a lot less going into the weekend. Next week, very little to no rain. It's all about the heat. Highs in the 90s and triple digits next week. Raul B. Rodriguez Law Weather Camera. It is 75 degrees and cloudy. South southeast wind at 10 miles an hour. That wind is over 5 miles an hour, which is helping uh, to keep the fog away. Air temperature is near the dew point temperature, so relative humidity is up to 90%. Dew points are in the 70s, mid 70s there in the eastern zone. This is oppressive humidity. Here's a look at the visibility map. There is fog with lighter winds farther north. We're seeing low stratus clouds forming there, and that's reducing visibility quite a bit, especially from Kerrville to Rock Springs. Also lower visibility around New Braunfels, so be careful in those areas. Uh, you can see the cloud cover on the satellite composite. Any precipitation that's falling right now. It's very light, too light for radar uh, to detect it. The strong storms are pounding areas farther to the north. These are some of the storm reports uh, from yesterday and uh, earlier uh, this morning. The Austin area saw heavy rain yesterday, even some hail reports, but I believe those were smaller sized hailstones. Uh, these uh, reports were flooding. There was flooding that was reported there, one in Blanco County, another or a few more uh, flood reports around Austin. This is where we're seeing the severe thunderstorms right now. They're producing high winds, heavy rain, frequent cloud to ground lightning. And these are slow moving storms. So these red boxes are indicating where we're seeing flood warnings. Uh, there is uh, one severe thunderstorm around Conroe, another one around uh, Beaumont. So thankfully those storms are staying off towards the north. Roads may be a little damp here and there through your morning drive. Upper level disturbance. That short wave is moving farther to the north, so that's why we're seeing that stormy weather from near Dallas to just north of Houston. Uh, across the high plains, there's rain this morning. Moderate rain in portions of the Dakotas. Pockets of heavy rain moving east across portions of Iowa and southern Minnesota. Taking you through the day, so cloudy right now. This afternoon, uh, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. Few scattered showers on and off from late this morning through the afternoon. Also a thunderstorm or two. As we go into tonight and tomorrow, I think any of the Stronger storms may stay to the north. This in-house computer model still indicating the potential for maybe some gusty storms along the border tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening. Maybe one or two of those storms come towards San Antonio. Here's your seven day forecast this afternoon, 83 tomorrow, 86 with a slight rain chance, 87 Saturday, 40% rain chance on Sunday. After that for next week, very little to no rain and highs warming on up triple digits for sure next week in the western zone. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. You can get this online at news4sa.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> 